Hello and welcome back to another video. So in this video today, I'm going to be going over how I replace the flying stands from Games Workshop. So over the last few weeks, I say last few months, I've had quite a few people asking me how I replace the flying stands that I use um, because the GW ones, they're a bit, ugh, to be fair. Um, it's quite a simple and easy process, um, and in this, this video I'm basically just going to show you what I use and how I go about doing it. It's really, really simple. Adds so much more to your model as well. You can fit so much more on the bases. It's sturdier. You haven't got to worry about things snapping or breaking. And to me, it's, it's, I, yeah, I do it on every single model now. Um, my entire Necron army's had all their flying stands replaced. Um... So yeah, without further ado, I will show you what I have done. Okay, so so these are some of the flying stands that I have um, replaced over the last year. Um, as I said, my Necron army, which is these, they've had all of their flying stands replaced. So these flyers, um, they used to have these horrible, horrible looking things attached to the base, which takes up, as you can see from there, it takes up a lot of room. It looks absolutely hideous, you know, it's big, it's clunky, and it just doesn't look very good at all. Um, so what I did was replace the flying stand um, with a piece of metal rod, which is just like this piece here. So what I did was I went to um, Pound Stretcher. And in Pound Stretcher, they sell packs of metal coat hangers. And these metal coat hangers are the perfect size for flying bases. Um, they come in packs for about six or seven for about two pounds, I think. Um, but they're solid. As you can see, I'm trying to bend that, and that's, that's not going to bend at all. It's solid, um, and it's just such a game changer really as you can see on this model there's so much more room on the base you know if you wanted to you could build up an extra thing on the base you could have more details on it and yeah this this ain't coming out at all um obviously with these kind of flying oh, no, these kind of flying vehicles you will have that cross thing in the bottom um which obviously before i built these i didn't replace as you can see there, it's got that big old cross thing on. But if you were going to replace them straight out from a brand new model build, you could always just put a piece of plastic on the inside to cover it and then just go over it with green stuff and smooth it down and you wouldn't even you wouldn't even be able to see that anymore. Um, which I think in future I will do. But all I did was I took a pin vice, which is one of these, I drilled in the hole where I wanted it to be, and obviously oh, this piece of metal is a lot thicker than the, the pin vise. So what I did was I drilled that through, and then I have this, which is a screwdriver. But what I've done is I've tapered both sides of it, so it's become like a, kind of like a drill in a way. And then what I do is I just put it in, and I just work it round, and that is literally the perfect size the piece of metal by, by like a hundredth of a millimeter so you still get that tight tight grip on it so it's not going to slide out here there and everywhere um so easy to do so this one if i can get it off the base without oh, thank you. with this one i literally because i'm not going to be using this as a doom scythe in this little bit here i just drilled the hole and that was it done and then you just get your model and you just slide it on. Obviously, the only downside to this is you have to paint the you have to paint the, the pieces of metal black or white or whatever colour you want. And obviously, they're not going to be see through, which is I don't know. To me, it's not really much of an issue, but to some people, it might might be a bit annoying to them. So I've done the same to my spider as well. Just drilled. Obviously, the bit of the metal or bit of the paint's coming off this because. Where it's been slid on and off um, but I just drilled through the the bit at the bottom because this was, this was one of the ones that had one of those ball joint things at the bottom drilled through with the exact same method and now we've got a piece of metal 
and one of the big bonuses of doing this is combat when the models are in combat when you've got nine or ten models placed around here there and everywhere everything's all bunched up together things are getting caught on each other you haven't got space here you haven't got space there you know and if and with this you, you're not stuck to the predetermined height of a gw stick as you can see there that's a good two or three centimeters taller so you know that's an extra couple of centimeters of space that you can put a model next to or you know you can just yeah it's just a lot better really um i did the same to my my necrons here as well so rather than using the little crappy gw stands that come with them what i done was just drill the little hole in the bottom of the pin vise got some paper clips cut them to all different lengths and then just attached them to the base so they just literally just drill through the bottom of the base with a bit of super glue and as you can see they're not they're not going anywhere and it gives you an extra bit of height as well so you can have ones that are close to the floor you can have ones that are high up you can have all different scales and levels you can even put them onto these bases so you can actually have a few scattered here there and everywhere which i think i probably will do at some point um this is one of the main advantages of doing it is with the lord of the rings model so these are my oh, these are my eagles that i've just finished and one of the issues i had with these was when they were in combat when you've got models next to them the wings just they just ruin the whole thing if you've got two or three of these in combat and they're all next to each other you're not going to be able to do it because the wings are going to get in the way the bases aren't big enough you know but these eagles i've got four and i have done them at all different heights so these are obviously on these aren't on the on the clear clear flying stands these, these are on actual proper round bases but what i did for them was you get the holes in the bottom of the model anyway i just drill through one of the holes push the rod through and glued it in place that was it and as you can see from this it's not going anywhere and yeah it just adds kind of that extra dimension to your game really so everything's not all on the same flying level and if i go put this with my other ones which are in here as you can see i don't know if the picture's that good every single one's at a different level so adds a little bit of aesthetic to the board and a little bit of fun but so with these see-through bases you don't really need to do much for these um when you cut your pieces of metal rod they are literally the same size so straight through all you need to do blob of super glue on the end just push it through make sure you're on a flat surface and hold it for a couple of seconds bang done you haven't got to worry about this bit on the bottom snapping and then you haven't drill it out to put a new one in you haven't got to worry about this bit snapping in your model you haven't got to worry about getting all this dirty or anything and you can have them on just di different levels really so i've cut this one shorter so you can have a shorter one i've cut ones that are a lot higher you can have a higher one you know and uh yeah so i keep getting asked by people um how i go about doing this and it's literally as simple as buying a pack of metal coat hangers and cutting them to size i had one coat hanger i think i got about seven or eight flying stands out of it um because obviously quite a few of my models were cut to the same height like skimmers i'm not going to do them like that high when they're supposed to be about this high on the floor um but they have got a little bit of a varying height um but yeah this is easy as just cutting them sticking them in place and then finish off the rest of your base paint them glue them done so when i'm when i was spray painting these i didn't have to worry about overspray i didn't have to worry about masking off these because they're clear you got a bit of grey paint on them, you got a bit of primer on them, it's a bonus, it's kind of like pre-primed already, so I, I sprayed the whole piece of metal with primer, and then I just went over it when the bases were finished with some uh, matte black spray, well, not spray, sorry, uh, matte black paint, and then I just went over it with a varnish, so I gave it a good couple of coats of matte varnish, just to make sure it doesn't chip that easy, and yeah, that's pretty much how i do it as i said it's very easy very simple um i get asked quite a lot how do i do this and for me i don't know why people don't do this more often you know gw flying stands are an absolute nightmare i've been a commission painter i've had a lot of people send me stuff in the past 
where they've had broken flying stands, they've wanted me to drill them out and replace them with the metal rods, or they've wanted me to drill them out because they haven't got the stuff to do it, or stuff they've glued their model on the top and the top bit snapped, so they've now got the top end of that, that clear bit, it's stuck in the model, which needs drilling out, and yeah, it, for the sake of like an extra couple of minutes worth of work, it's just such a game changer, really. It looks so much nicer on the table. So when I'm the, the only downside I had to this one was the base is quite a small lipped base, so there's not it's not as thick as most of them. So when I bent the uh, metal rod over underneath this one and glued it in place, it did protrude about a millimetre, which made it a little bit wobbly. So all I had to do then was just I just went around and stuck five five normal bases on. You can't even you can't even really tell the difference. Like I've even stuck them on there really to be fair. I stuck five bases on there just to keep it a bit more level, and that was that was it. No, no need for worrying about stuff. No need for oh, will this not work? Will this not work? So I bent the um, to get the the piece underneath straight. What I did was I put it into my my little vice that I've got attached to the desk, and I just hit it with a hammer. That was it. Done. Um. Yeah, so I'll see you back in a second. So I hope this has helped you a little bit. Um, as I said, it's such an easy easy thing to do for such an aesthetically pleasing thing. You know, I've, I've done this my entire Necron army up there, and it just looks so much better on the the metal flying stands. They're all at, all the models are at different levels. You know, there's it's a bit of variation to the army. I didn't have to worry as much about trying to get spray paint on the clear clear parts, and yeah, these things absolutely hideous I don't even know why GW included them to be fair but they've started replacing those with the weird kind of bits and bobs um, I'm going to be doing a Carcatron oh, Carcatron Carcatron um, the little flying dwarf army I'm going to be doing one of them soon for a commission and I'm going to be doing a full flying stand replacement with all the metal just because the the big blimp things they have are heavy you know and if you've got clear flying stands they're going to snap at some point someone's going to knock it over and it's just going to snap so i'm doing a full replacement on all of the models with the metal metal rods um but yeah i've i've replaced a lot i've done it to my witch king bangmar as well up there on the fell beast he's been replaced i've done it to all my eagles it's just it's, it's a no-brainer really um but yeah so pound stretcher about two pound for about eight or nine coat hangers i think about i think it was a pack of about eight um, I've had one pack for about a year. Last that long, you know, you get eight, about eight, nine flying stands out of one. You can get quite one big long bit, off, obviously off the straight bit at the bottom. Um, and then you've got all little bits here and there and everywhere you can do. But yeah, so I hope that was that was helpful. And obviously, if you have a go at it yourself, just drop me a comment at the bottom. And tell me how you got on. Um, if you've got any questions, obviously I can help you and I can answer them. But I hope. This was a bit more informative and I will catch you on the next video. So happy hobbying guys and I'll catch you later.